Hey there, I'm Liz Thorpe. My goal is to show you how to take a hunk of cheese and turn it into one ounce portion, the size you want to put together a cheese plate. After 15 years of working in the cheese business, I've gotten 10,000 of the same question from clients and cheese lovers, which is, sorry guys, how to cut the cheese. <laughs> there is a right way and a wrong way. First, make sure everyone winds up with some cheese and some rinds, not a lot of one or the other. Second, you spend a lot of money on cheese, you wanna keep the piece looking nice. When it comes to cutting, forget about what cheeses taste similar to one another. What you wanna pay attention to are size and shape. I'm gonna take you through some of the most basic cuts that can be used to break down every piece of cheese in the case. All right, here we go. This is the plank cut. The thing that's really important here is the distance from the outside of the cheese to the inside of the cheese. This is a 10 pound piece of cheese that came off an 80 pound wheel of Comté, which is a French mountain cheese. Basically, it doesn't matter how tall the cheese is, it matters how wide the cheese is. This is about the biggest triangular piece somebody might be working with. First, I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna break it down into working pieces. There's this awesome tool that cheese folk use. It's like your cheese ninja knife and you can just press down and cut the nose. This is the only time I'm gonna tell you to cut the nose off cheese is when you're breaking down a huge piece like this because this is gonna become its own working piece. And basically you're just gonna cut along the back to make smaller working pieces. If you don't happen to have one of these like cheese ninja things, you can just use a big knife. Each one of these guys along the back is gonna be about a pound. That's my plank, my working piece. You can handle these in a couple of ways. A thicker, stronger blade will work. You can go across like this until you get to about two inches before the rind, at which point you'll flip it and go along the back. Or you can do these sort of alternating triangles where you're gonna cut it like this. I'm a big fan of leaving the rind on the cheese. Part of the character, I want people to see it and smell it and look at it even if they're not gonna actually eat it. You know, what's great about doing it this way is that you don't have to handle the cheese in any way. And somebody gets this cool rustic looking thing on their cheese plate. And that is the plank cut.